adding the three screws right here kind of secured this to the oven. As I said, these are scrap pieces of fabric. It's, I mean, foam. And I had to cut a piece to make it fit over here on this side. Hey, lovies. I'm here getting ready to recover my ottoman. And I've gone ahead and spray painted my legs with this Quailon Brilliant Silver spray paint from Walmart. I'm also going to be using this fabric here from Walmart. Some staples also from Walmart and my stapler. So without further ado, let's get started. What I'm doing is just stapling right along where the piping already is. That piping. Then I'm going to start stapling right below where the piping is also. And I'm just going to do that all the way around on the four corners. So I took a few of that, put a couple of staples. Then I cut this piece right here out. Being careful to leave enough right here to tuck. When I said tuck, I mean tuck it in like that. So that the edges won't look so rough. And then I took and stapled this piece right here down up on the edge. And you want it to look like it was supposed to be. Just a little seam. I miss with this fabric is being as thick as it, being as thick as it is, and the um my stapler the staples was coming out when I tried to fold it all over as one piece of fabric. So I ended up having to cut it. I am getting ready to cover this side right here, and this is why I cut out. The strip of the poster board. I'm just going to put this strip below the fabric. There's the strip fabric. Just a little bit below it. And fold it over it. Then I'm going to take and go around here. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and add the batting. Okay, I've gotten my batting placed on here. I'm just going to continue to staple the fabric down using the poster board to give it a 
uniform seam. This side right here, and it has that seamless look. Here's how I'm doing my legs. I've cut right here and over here. And now I'm getting ready to cut it across there. Blend at the same time. And eventually I'll turn it over and then staple it. Okay, now that I've gotten that staple like I did that side, I am going to tuck this piece right here. To close it up and just pull tight and staple I just wanted to show you guys how to close that up I am getting ready to place this flower diamond wrap around the center Well, lovies, I decided to go ahead and um, do the tufting on it. And I went ahead and laid out my crystal gems. I would ordinarily not do my tufting like this. I just pulled my hot glue gun back up. I'm just sitting back in there right now. But like I said, I would ordinarily not do it my tufting like this. The reason I'm doing it with this ottoman is because this fabric is stretchable. When you're tufting, usually you would go ahead and, and tack down one side and leave the other side loose because you may not have enough fabric if you were to tie it down like I, if you were to staple it down the way that I have it stapled down now. Well, lovies, this is the completed ottoman. It turned out beautiful. And if you are a glamorous girl or you love glamorous things, this would be ideal for you. And lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys and you know that I'm always praying for you guys. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. I love you guys, and as always in parting, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. It turned out beautifully.